Welcome to episode four, Gearhead Square Table. Um, I've got some notes here. So the GTR did not make it. I put it out on Facebook that we're gonna have a GTR um, where I put it up as a, as a question and somebody eventually guessed the GTR and the GTR did not make it due to weather. Um, high horsepower and racing slicks don't go well <laughs> That's right. in the rain. So it will be here eventually. It's just I waiting for the weather. We've had a couple, this is I think the second show where we've had shitty rain and shitty yeah. weather. So. Um, even these cars are dirty and wet, but so the one of the original iconic V6 cars I wanted to bring <laughs> was my 1990 SHO Taurus, 58,000 original miles. <laughs> it is uh, a beautiful specimen. Showpiece. Um, that should be in Peterson's for sure. Um, they should have an SHO in there. I don't know why they don't. Um, Somebody <laughs> should call the Library of Congress. Can we get a time capsule for this fucking? Yeah. <laughs> very <laughs> special <laughs> car to me <laughs> in my heart. It's a very, it's a, it's an awesome car. It, I mean, that's a, a subject we're gonna touch on later. Uh, is, is generational cars like you know I think that like my g guys my generation all appreciate and respect the SHO <laughs> guys his uh, generation don't and I'm sure there are cars from their generation that I don't respect and so on and so forth so anyway the SHO is here um, Gus saved the day and drove his 07 M6 today um, which is the V10 we gotta get some exhaust on that thing we do. Yeah. It's really cool. I saw it on Instagram the other day, this M5 like screaming through a tunnel. It's just a, those, that engine with it's very little engine. exhaust sounds amazing. It sounds like a fucking F1 car. It does sound really good. Yeah, it's amazing. So we got to do that soon. Well, well that you got to be careful though, because as we learned earlier this week, you can make V10 sound <laughs> terrible. <laughs> we did. We did. So don't right, do, okay. don't use yeah. whatever muffler we, we had. We did. We, we don't want to talk about that. But um, yeah, that's, we got to change. <laughs> So here we are, thing. episode four. Um, please like if you're watching us on Facebook. Give the video a like. Um, give the page a like. And um, if you're following YouTube, please give us a like too. Um, oh, okay. So first subject or topic of today is March Madness bullshit is going on right now. now I've never <laughs> given a single like even a minute fuck about college basketball ever. <laughs> Like when I moved, when we moved here from New York, I, my brother and I were just puzzled. Like we're, we're, I didn't even know what college was. Like I don't think I ever even heard the word college until I was 12 years old. And people were obsessed with it, and we just didn't get it. So I, I have never given a shit about it. But I thought I was, I heard a news clip about it the other day, and I said, well, you know, what? it'd be cool to do our own like bracket of cool cars. So we all have our dream cars, and this isn't necessarily like even dream cars we'll ever own. It's just like the bracket of the coolest shit with four wheels and a steering wheel that can be driven. So I gave everyone the homework last week to pick four of their favorite cars of all time with two alternates in case any of us picked the same car, which did not happen. Um, so it should be... Uh, I thought there'd be two Pontiac Aztecs for sure. Yeah. yeah. No. So, um, so yeah, we're going to start going through this list. So this week, we're just going to pick our cars. Everyone's going to do their four cars. We'll have a little talk about it, but then next week... Um, or in two weeks, sorry, we will start kind of arguing it, and we'll, we're going to go through the bracket um, and start arguing the cars. <clears throat> uh, we do have some vacation stuff coming up, so we might be on hiatus for all our fans out there, all five of you. Um, so we <laughs> yeah. might we might Hi, have Mom. a little bit of delay. We've got, we've got some trips and vacations coming up, so it might be a little while. We'll keep, I'll keep you posted on Facebook. Um, so, yeah. I guess we're ready to start picking cars. Roll into it. So we it. randomized. Neil has randomized yeah, the cars. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, either way. Kind of. So today we'll just talk a little bit about the cars. We're not going to get too deep. Um, yeah, we later. don't need to fight. We just need to state them. Yeah, later we'll go through the bracket and start arguing. It's going to become an argument. I might try to come up with some kind of prize for the winner, too, um, where we'll kind of argue. We're going to have to battle it out and pick a winner. You know, majority wins. So um, we'll need okay. basically three... Yeah, I'll just buy them off and then I'll win. All right, well, hey, capitalism, baby. Whatever, it, whatever works. All right, work. who's up first? What do we got? Uh, okay, so this is one of my coolest cars ever. Colin McRae, Subaru. This is the car that made gold wheels on Subarus fucking awesome. Yeah, which we already know you're obsessed with. So it was one of my likes in a past one. So this that's is a, that's an awesome. This car. was the '97 car, which, in doing some research, I found out this was like kind of a game changer for them because uh, WRC rolled back a lot of the. Uh, rules regarding um, uh, homologization. Homologate, yeah, yeah. 
Um, and so they were able to just like do whatever the fuck they wanted. They were just like, okay, like, like usually unleash, when good things happen, in unleash the performance team. And yeah. so this but was a '97 car, like Class B car, yeah. like people Class die. Yeah, disappeared. Well, because, and um, it was still the group B. It was group the two door body style still. So it didn't, you know, it wasn't the four door uh, really like the Impreza. Door. The two door, oh man. So what do I call this? Uh, a '97 WRC. WRC STI, yeah, that's what I call oh, it. Now. I had a number five in the hood. Is that? It's um, five five five. Mm -hmm. Was that Colin mm. McRae's car? Uh, yeah, this exact one actually. I found. I got this picture because it was for sale. I didn't see what it actually went for, uh -huh. but this was Colin McRae's exact car. Wow. It was well. It was chassis number one. They didn't tell me how many yeah. they actually built. And this I was think chassis those are built number by one. Pro drive, okay. It was Pro Drive, and uh, I was doing some reading, and they. I mean, they really just like hit the ball out of the park. They went nuts with this thing. Yeah, that's a badass car. All right, excellent car. Who's next? Tiny picture. Tiny picture also did a bad job at randomization because this, this one is also too? mine. Just put it on a different line. Uh, so this is, it was a picture of a movie car. So this is Milner's Deuce Coupe from American Graffiti, classic car movie you guys should all watch. Never seen it. That's a separate discussion. Yeah. Um, but the classic Deuce Coupe, American hot rod, small, you know, big V8 motor, the small Man, body of the time. Um, you know, you can chop the windows. Well, it's a big motor for the time. It's not a 8.1 yeah. liter. These cars don't do anything for me. Oh, man. Okay, well, you know, we'll move oh, on. Oh, look at that. All right, what do we got here? That's, yeah, that's me that's right there, a, baby. That's built 1937 Ford Coupe. Split window. Yeah. Big duck tail. I love it. That's gorgeous. Beautiful lines. I mean, it's just, white and, and it was my first car. That um, was, really? I, yes. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the coupe, but I get the sedan two-door. Mm. It has like a little tiny, it's like a tiny tail. It's yeah. not like this gorgeous it's a lines, but it was a 37, huh. a split window. The name was El Toto. Toto? <laughs> Toto. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that was crazy. That's a pretty car. Are those Fender vents, are that, that's factory? That's is all that, factory. This is right obviously there. not a stock. Car. No, but everything that you're seeing, it's as far as the picture. grill, headlights, mirrors, that's all factory, running boards, everything looks factory right there, as far as I'm concerned, front yeah. fenders, With these uh, flat bumpers, V8? flathead V8, single barrel carburetor, like 86 yeah. horsepower, <laughs> Yeah, but uh, it's a beautiful car, awesome car, I like yeah. the headlights, I think that's, it's got to be one of the first cars that use a non, just not a round headlight, you know, that teardrop. And, and you had the blinkers integrated inside the taillight, the headlight, which oh, I thought really? was pretty cool. Hmm. <coughs> that had to be rev revolutionary for that time. Yeah, definitely really nice. Awesome hmm. lines. Love All right. That. Gorgeous car. All right, you got next? it written down? Yeah, I got it now. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Look at that. Turbo. Sexy motherfucker. <laughs> 993 Turbo. Mm. That, to me, is... I, I don't know. I, that t it's my favorite Porsche of all time. Over the 959, I love I love almost all Porsches, but that to me is like the quintessential badass, really cool um, Porsche Turbo. Were these? Were those? Those weren't air cooled still though. Yeah, were yeah. that's they our were last, still, That was the last of the air cooled. Yeah, like what is it? 95, I think. No. Uh, 97. Well, I asked because I mean, it, it seems like this spoiler. It seems like the point of that piece of bodywork is to get air down that. That rear yeah. glass. The, uh, those cars are just hmm. so awesome. <coughs> they are. Cool. Yeah. Um, Got yeah. it written down? Yep. She's down. Ah. Mm. All right. So this is another one of mine. And these second gen lightnings. I mean, not only are they, the first gen lightnings, kind of garbage. Second gen lightnings, supercharged 5.4. Yeah. You just love early 90s performance Fords. I, but exhibit I gotta, A. Go ahead and I'll tell you mine. Uh, dude, you can haul ass and haul plywood. Yeah. Every uh, every other car. Plywood, something. Every right. other car he on this even, list. He even dreams of putting plywood. Shit, you can't put plywood in. Like that Corolla wagon. He's like, you put a piece of plywood. No, no fucking way. You can't. Yeah. If you build this little high rise. Um, build a deck roof right rack here, first. It, it'll, it'll slide in. And the, the I do. Point. I yeah, do. No. Guilty. Guilty as charged. I don't get it. Uh, Four by eight sheets of plywood. That's what? the industry I standard. Don't, I don't get that track. You don't think it's cool at all? Supercharged no, 5.4. Like so mm. <laughs> growing up, growing up, I was never a huge fan of the first gen lightning. <laughs> Factory now, side really exhaust. Love them. Light, well, we don't one, have to fight it. We I think yeah, it. this car, this truck is badass. You, we, you should. I mean, yeah, they're they're awesome, but I, I I'd go first gen if it were me. Damn. Uh, That's just Zonda. insane. That's me. Uh, Zonda Pagani, I love it. Horacio Pagana, Argentinian, mm -hmm. mastermind behind this. Um, there's something I mean, to be said get, about oh. those cars, about like, every little detail. Like one of my favorite. You ever see the shifter on a Zonda? Yeah. 
In the oh mirrors is one of my favorite. I spent a lot of time in Zondas, though. The, the mirrors, the mirrors is one of my favorite features. Yeah, it's Lord. It's gorgeous. just so freaking beautiful. Where Those are they built? Are they like built in South America too? No, they're built no. in Modena. I mean in Europe. In Italy. Yeah. Um, yeah, incredible car. Imagine this car, I don't think it's. I don't think it's the most beautiful car, but just. I don't know. To me, to me, it is. I just love the whole balance, the way it looks. I mean, it's just. They're mid-engine, aren't they? Yes, they are. They're not. They're mid-engine. Yeah, AMG V8. Yeah. V12, sorry, yeah. V12, yeah. Huh. AMG sourced, specced, Pagani, I got it down. Gorgeous. Yeah, those are awesome. Really cool. <coughs> Damn, oh. that's bad too, right? Is that 250 <laughs> Testarossa? Who is this? Yeah, it's a 59. Um, this particular car, mm. uh, a gentleman fell in love with because it was who he followed, you know, it's, a, it's an iconic racing car back in the, the 50s and 60s. I mean, that's, that's what Ferrari used. Um, this gentleman, Always wanted one, found a body somewhere, and then literally piece by piece put this thing together. Um, yeah. I watched the video. It's a great video. Is it Petrolicious? Yes, yeah, yeah. Petrolicious. Yeah. And that, yeah. that, that's what got me. As soon as I heard it, I was like, dude, are you fucking kidding me right yeah, now? Yeah, there's something to be said about just a raw. The sound of this is on. This V12 oh is yeah. unbelievable. So. Yeah, I, hats off to him. I mean, I think a lot of purists are like, oh, it's not a real car, but who gives a shit? Yeah, no. Yeah. Who gives I mean, a look shit? Look at no, it. So, and then, I mean, not it's not like it's a fiberglass saying, replica car. Yeah, I'm not saying maybe no. this one particular, but but the 59 yeah. Testarossa was an iconic car. I love this one particular, so that's why it's sitting right there because I love how he did it. He, he made it a reality. Yeah. He made it a reality. The raw body. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah that is amazing. Sick car, man. And he uses it. This guy, this is this, this. That's what life is all about. Yeah, man. Out. He built it and he was like, no, I'm driving the yeah. show. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, don't put a cover on it like and just let it rot in a shop someplace. I mean,. No, I love you gotta it. just enjoy it. Put oh, a nice exhaust on it. That exhaust coming out the side like that—that that looks badass. <laughs> yeah. God, and they do. I remember. It's been a—it's been a while watch since we watched that Petrolicious video. Yeah. But God. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. What's Lotus? Yeah. So this is the Lotus. Exige, which is bigger than the Elise, but not the biggest one they built. Well, this car you can't buy here now. This is a. Well, and this is the S too, yeah. which I laughed really hard when I was when I was doing some research because uh, they added weight to it, which as we always joke, the Lotus motto, simplify and add lightness. Um, they added weight, but they doubled the engine size. This has a supercharged V6, I think. Um, and I mean, it's just like, I, this was the car I had on my bedroom wall when I was 12 years old, you know what I mean? An Exige. Exige, yeah. wow, you're young. That plate yeah. looks awful big for the car. Uh, <laughs> the plate? <laughs> I think it's I think it's factory spec or mandatory. Yeah, that's a cool car. Yeah, they're just wicked. I've I've sat I sat in one one time and I was because I used to dream and I looked at I considered purchasing a few Elises and I don't fit in the motherfucker. I like well, they're little. That's it's what like, the it's worse than a for me. I like to own a Lotus Seven. Yeah. If I get to pick. Yeah, it'd be Lotus. easier. Be much easier, I think, to build mm. one of those. They're yeah. they're ugly. I think they're not I attractive. Think that, oh, I like them a lot. Um, well, yeah. we get into kit cars later. Well, I was going to say, all you want is an Exo set. Yeah. All right, whoa. Yes. Yeah, all right. Whoa. All right. <laughs> this is the most American thing we'll see all day is a okay. fucking trophy truck. Yeah, There's just nothing trail. more badass great than a trophy trail. truck. I don't know. There's um, some pretty American stuff later in Love Hate, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, big V8, screaming, tons of wheel travel, just like raising hell mm, in fresh, the desert. Yeah. Um, I just I, so my my pick is trophy trucks in general, and they're all we kind of argued this earlier in the week. I mean they're all somewhat built to the same specs. Um, this is a terrible Herbs uh, truck, but I just think that there's just nothing cooler than a trophy truck. This is nothing more badass. Well, than and American dude, and he he's yeah. been racing. They I mean how oh, long? Forever, they, forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean he's been. Their trucks used to all be red. I don't know when that changed over. I don't follow, the, you know, uh, score that much, but it's it's just. Uh, Speaking of racing, it's it would be cool if it, if it still existed with the E-Course. Yeah. yeah. Really E-Course cool was a cool race series. If, it, if, yeah. it, if that still existed. It was be. grassroots. Well, I mean, there's other grassroots series, yeah, rally yeah. cross yeah, events. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just yeah. saying, there's something like, we could just look at that thing. Throw mm. anything together. That was ridiculous. The problem was, yeah. there's, you didn't make any money. Jesse James had E-Course never made any money. No, yeah. E-Course as an organization. Oh, uh, right. that, and that's why it doesn't exist. Yeah, exactly. All right. Uh this, this is an like FC that. in, like, in the competition for coolest cars ever. Hey, man. Well, now, well, it's going in the bracket I, with the trophy truck, so I, good luck. Uh, uh, that's going to be tough, I'm man. Right I'd take this. <laughs> I'd, I'd come real close to taking this over, a, if, especially if there was a clause that I couldn't resell it. I'd take this over that Zonda. 
If I just had to use it just to drive, dude. Bro, I love this thing, man. Like, You're well, crazy. Dude, you know, I, I don't live next to. I don't live next to a like racetrack. Boys that like live in the mountains, so we're like, all right, man, this is practical. That's something I can drive around. I can fit plywood in the back of that thing. Oh, here we go. The fucking plywood. I've always had one of these. I've owned literally probably every. You can tow the lightning with it. There is, so with I can tow the lightning and tow that thing. Shit. I haven't owned yeah. a Scrambler, you know, uh-huh. and I've owned a CJ6. I haven't owned an FC truck, and that's one of the next things I'd like to try to find. Now, they is this thing all factory? It almost looks like it's been cleaned and shaved, though. I mean, I, I, were they this, I mean, gorgeous when they left the factory? I mean, this thing obviously has larger it's tires. Like I don't know. But yeah, but no, Do you think it's a full factory restoration? Yeah. Yeah. It almost looks, I mean. I love I, the wheel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, those are cool. The exhaust coming out of the side, like, that looks cool. You too. know what I love I too? I love the cab over, man. I love, look, I mean, look at that windshield. Look at all those, uh, look at all the windows in that thing. Look at the lines That's on the nice. door. Uh, yeah, it's the cool. The door lines. They're definitely cool. Yeah. But not trophy truck cool. Next. Uh, that's the yeah. tough bracket. Ah. Ooh. We yeah. might have to switch the bracket Speaking to make it more America. fair. Yeah. This Speaking is, of yeah. America, this. Fucking unicorn. This would give a trophy truck a reference. It does not get much cooler than a unicorn. I mean, this car. I don't need to explain why this thing's badass. Ken Block has proved it many times. Um, but just, yeah, this is in its current, I think, form with the turbos. This is the only time I, have, I haven't seen it with, like, skid lines leading up to the tires. Right. I think that Usually picture, it's like he came in way too yeah. hot. Yeah. Maybe um, they dressed it. Maybe they cleaned a, it up. What a badass car. Built That's here in North Carolina. Pictures. All-wheel drive. Was it built in North Carolina? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, it was built. Got some chart, NASCAR right? type guys built huh. it. It's badass. Oh. <clears throat> coolest thing ever any video that i mean what like, front diff did they use that would hold up to that abuse uh, and power? i don't know but i'm Where sure they it's out there that? there's a lot of info on the i mean car, it's not so. a subaru front end sorry trent um <laughs> that's gonna hold that well it's holding it so whatever it is it is holding it and it yeah it's it. another super american thing uh 427 mm. cobra 66 is this 66. a oh it is a look you can even read it on the fender 427 uh, yeah this what a cool is, car. this isn't a 302 i mean before I, you know, knew or understood Ferrari, the, the, I loved this car because it was one of my father's favorite cars. So becoming yeah. a car person, yeah. he explained to me, you know, this is one of the cars I love. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And the first time I ever laid eyes on, it, I was like, oh my god, what yeah. The fuck is this? Thing? This I well, will, now, I will build one of these before I die. As a and kid, I have yeah. it. It's all in my head. Like I wouldn't do it like this. You know, this is like the this is like the most. Well, this is iconic figure Yeah, iconic uh, yeah. Cobra blue, of all time. Blue stripes, white. Well, I don't know, man. Are those AN fittings on a training cooler? I don't know if that's that, an oil cooler. Yeah. That's I don't know if they had AN fittings in the 60s. They did. They totally they did. did. Yeah, totally. Huh. Yeah. Um, yeah, I want one murdered. I want one like murdered out. With, I want to chop the windshield and no roll bar. I think that would yeah. be the way I go. That sounds, that sounds OSHA proof for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I think NHST, NHTSA would have something to say about that. It's a awesome car, man, no matter yeah. how you look at it. I mean, yeah, it's so just, cool. I it's saw one uh, sa- uh, Saturday rolling around we were, uh, when we come back from the lake. It was one thinking about busting on the parkway on that thing. Oh, yeah. oh man. Yeah. That Might beat us. your yeah. ears out, but yeah. I, I I, well, I'll, I'll, I'll I'll don't imagine little, it because I'll, goggles on I'll take like you for a ride when I build mine. Leather helmet. <laughs> leather helmet. Uh, yeah, straight up. All right. Same one. Zonda Art. Now, this is, whose is this? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? It's not mine. Well, I, 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 <laughs> we, are, we, we already went through my zone. I mean, maybe you had a second picture. Well, how we got? We got one, two, three, we four. Went through this one, two, three. All of this is why we were confused. I told you guys. I was like, we right. got 17 so cars. Don't pay attention to this. All right, one. we'll go one more. Here we go. <laughs> Skyline. It's me, 1969. Dude, I'll take that Skyline. thing over a Zonda seven days a week. Yep. I love it. Iconic car. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. That's I mean, I love Japanese engineering and cars, and I think this is a beautiful example of that. In like that is six. a cool car. Now, this one's been f- tweaked and fitted, huh? There's some camber in the rear, and I know that you're a big fan of that. Did they come with those wheels? I don't see it. You got a, you got a problem <laughs> with it. He got a problem with negative camber. I don't see camber on those wheels. Dude, there's camber in the either. rear. What do you see? Look at this. Maybe in the rear, just a little bit. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. maybe yeah, a degree. Camera, but yeah, but like, <laughs> yeah. Um, All right. It's obviously stock, but that's the same. 69. So, right. so, so original Skyline. Original Skyline, 69. Yeah. I love those uh, front fender, fender mirrors. mirrors. Uh, that's so freaking that beautiful. That would be a good love. That would be a good love feature, fender yeah. mirrors. Because yeah. they look good on everything. My they buddy's do. got a Cressida wagon with that's fender mirrors. That's in the 240s. Uh, they yeah. look yeah. dope, too. Yeah. 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 Mm. That's me, too. Love it. 458 Italia. Eight. That's a badass car. Wait. About you're your movie, so you're not going against yourself. 
Um, oh, all right, cool. cool. Tell us about the 458 Italian. FC down there somewhere. What do you want to know? Look at it. It's just amazing. Yeah. <laughs> there's, a, there's a red one rolling around town. I've seen it multiple times. He lives out like a couple miles from here, and I've seen him driving. I really need to get a hold of that guy to have him bring it in. Yes, my, buddy, uh, my buddy had a black spider. Okay. That's pretty sick. Um, yeah, I tell you what, I mean, uh, where are we? You can say it. 20? Okay. Um, all right. Yeah, that's a badass car. Yeah, I think that's a badass car. I'll tell you what, that car in person is much wider than it is. you, 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 you oh my God. think in images. I mean, now that I'm looking at it, it is kind of like, it has similarities to the Zonda as far as the sign goes. You know, I mean, it's it's got to be mid-engine too. I mean, there's it no because it's a. You don't know that a four, Ferrari 458 is mid-engine? Like that's that's a question. You think there's a there's a fucking V8 in the front of that thing? Maybe they do amazing things. These it's days. like a real, a real <laughs> short black. It's not. I mean, yeah, how is that? I, that that blows my mind that you that, that doesn't, you have to process. It blows that. my mind that they can make three liter V8s and and one. Or but the fact you don't know a 458 uh, Ferrari is mid-engine <laughs> blows my mind. All right, next. Oh, wow. F40? F40. This Ooh. is mine. It's Love it. None, none that, of the rest was, of us could pick this. Yeah, I know. No, this is not. As soon as Stuber sent the text, he was like, dibs on F40s. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody was going to pick an F50 because <laughs> right. F40, F40 <laughs> would win over F50 seven days a week. Yeah, this mm. is a guy, a guy on Instagram. Now, they never sold this car in black. I don't think this is the car that uh, that stupid show did in Texas. Yeah. Um, I think this is this is a different car. I might be wrong, um, but I just look at that thing. Like, yeah, Turbo V8. This is the last car that that like uh, Enzo was involved with. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Um, so it's just like the last. I think like pure pure. Ferrari. I'll, I will murder you, Ferrari. Yeah. Well, that's why the TV show you spoke about did what they did to fucking salvage that Ferrari. Yeah. I mean, that was a wrecked, like... It was wrecked. <laughs> coming in, yeah, by, yeah, fucked up the front, whole front end, but they, you could buy every piece to, to make it a reality. Got it's crazy. That frame away, That's just, it's just a badass. They did it. It's just they a did badass it. car. It and I think it stood the test of time. You know, it's still, like, some cars, like, the F50 well, is so dated. I think well, the it's something to be spoken right. for any car that out that outshines its its predecessor. Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, and Yeah, it, and they've been chasing. It. And that, like, that brings up another thing about, like, Ferrari, like, with the F50. They're, like, wouldn't let anybody test it. And, like, they're very, you know, tight-knit because it was probably, it was slower than this. Yeah. Right. You know, and it's just not, you can't have a, you can't build a new car that's slower than its predecessor. Wasn't Ferrari just dropped on the road Atlanta instead of new? That's that F1 car video yeah, I posted. That, that, that it made, it made road Atlanta look like. Trump. If nothing. It, it triumphed the last record what six seconds? Oh, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm six? not surprised. Six. Like they didn't, he didn't even start breaking that's into a, the the, the back straight of Road Atlanta. I've, I know Road Atlanta real well from a lot of uh, previous a lot of racing games. experience you've got. Road well, I've been there. Uh, I've been there. I went to the Petit Le Mans there, and <laughs> Petit Petit so I know the track. That's good. That's how you pronounce it. Yeah, correctly. that's good. Well done. And I know the track pretty well because I've raced it a lot online, and. <laughs> um, yeah. So I know, I know, I know every every corner. So, so the back what? straight, so, yeah. like they didn't even touch the brakes until like the the break, the markers came up. Like it was just insane. That yeah. video is cool. We posted. I but posted a good point too. You try to do that on F40, and you're probably gonna end up in the weeds. Yeah, yeah. I mean they're but they're that's, unforgiving. That's a cool car. They're yeah. unforgiving. It's very cool car. Yeah. Yes. Oh. oh wait, uh, we'll we got, we're missing okay. one we love. That's me, man. Oh, no, we're missing oh. one 16. Oh. Yeah. Wildcard Willis is pulling a wild. Just write wild card. Yeah. All right. Wildcard Willis. Dude, right, jokes so that on us. Wildcard's our bracket. Win. We'll make this sexier somehow, and I don't know. We'll figure it out yeah. in the next couple weeks. All right, Sweet 16. So now we're going to go to our topic two, which is the ugliest car for sale today in America. Ugliest uh, new car. Ugliest yeah, new car. Yeah, I was because so that's car a, we can walk into a showroom and buy. Brand new, right? Right. right. Okay. Yeah, because my first pick isn't on sale anymore, which so, is a Nissan Juke. And I just I didn't even know it, but they did. My first pick was the last year. Juke is a good one too. It's so crazy because remember when we had that conversation last week? We're like, how do we all pick Nissan? You see that son of a bitch everywhere? Yeah. Bro, I thought of a Nissan Murano convertible. Oh, you saw all five of them? Saturday, Sunday from Murano. You saw all five of them? Dude. I Dude, saw a they made more than that. They're all over the fucking park. Where I'm like, what is going on right now? Oh, that is a hideous car. Oh my god, and the glasses are so big. But not a convertible. And oh, they're not making a convertible anymore? Yeah, because it's fucking terrible. What a bad it's idea. Horrible. It's a barf. Yeah. Yeah. But it's All just right. funny that like, it goes back to like. I bet somewhere sale. there's a 52 year old woman that loves her Nissan Cabrio. Oh, for sure. Yeah, there's probably a fucking forum dedicated to it. No, no, oh, no, don't get me wrong. You know guys mod them. <laughs> oh my all god. I saw was like, 
Guys, bro, you got a roll bar? Like 70 year old couples cruising in the Murano. I bet they love them. Okay. That's, okay. that's fine. That's I want cool. an that's SUV cool. convertible. Is it All right, well, let's get, get in. let's get into yeah, ugliest one. cars. Let's okay. get into ugliest cars. All right, there we go. cars. That is an ugly-ass car. <laughs> it was in my, was in my, I almost picked it. That's a Fiat 500L. So they stands for large. <laughs> they took the only good thing going for the Fiat 500 and fucked it up. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was a Fiat. Can you get an Abarth? Till it wasn't. No, I doubt it. <laughs> I mean, it looked cool. The original Fiat, it broke into the American market. It was kind of cool. That when it came car. out, yeah. They yeah. Had I drove ass, the electric yeah. one. It, it loved it. It's kind of like the Mini, and then they go with this extension. The Countryman. This is the Countryman. Like, what is yeah, this? This, this, is, the this, the, this car is yeah. a product of, like, Americanization. Yeah. yeah, like... Uh, uh, well, I want it, it to be taller, and I want it, you know, I want five doors. And it's you know? not that like, cheap either, you know? It's, a, it's not cheap? It's like like 24 Gs, and then, mm. yeah. That it was, looks like a bug that you would immediately kill. For that. You I can know. get a shitty Nissan Versa for less than that, and yeah. they're real shitty, Yeah, too. that car is hideously ugly. I'm yeah, they were good. Yeah. It's terrible. All right, we all agree. That's a great, stupid uh, fucking car. Yeah, uh, is awesome if they can con someone out of 24 Gs. Yeah. I bet you there's a lot of incentives. Pushing those cars. How do you walk away feeling good, you know, spending that kind of money <laughs> driving that in America? I mean, how do you, you show got it off? all here? How do you text your friends or put on Facebook like, hey, I got a new Check car? Check out my dope like, new whip. You go, okay, nice car. It's like, you know the Fiat 500? Yeah, but mine is the L. Yeah. Huh? Okay. All right. Uh, all right. Well, well wait, perfect. what's, wait, hang on. Where the fuck are we that this is in the background? We are what in, is Europe. The, in Europe. We somewhere. are in uh, maybe France. That looks like an that, M. What that, is that? The R class Mercedes? That, 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 that's a Stuber RS. Is it? Gold. No, it's not. And oh. then right, right, right <laughs> here. The so and right there we got, what's that, a Peugeot maybe? Is it? Like I don't a, know, man. Like a, yeah, maybe yeah, a Peugeot. Yeah, a Peugeot. Shit, uh, red box. Ah, oh, another oh. tiny picture. What is another going on? What's well, up they load that? bigger sometimes. That's a man, badass man. van, man. Uh, uh, you own an right. NV. Yeah, who you are? own an NV? Who picked that guy? Dude, I picked the Nissan NV, and it is the ugliest car you can go into a dealer and buy today. Uh, Mine doesn't have the extended and roof. And the red, the, I picked a high roof on purpose because the high roofs look, but now, I will say, I've been all over Nissan NVs. They are the best full-size van you can buy today in terms yeah. of interior options and accessories yeah. and heavy-duty uh, layout. The frames are super heavy-duty. The roofs yeah. are all laid out. Yeah, but they're not super pretty. Super well-designed, but they are not pretty. And I have, I've, I've spent a lot of time picturing how to try to make that thing look cool. Dude, you can't. Yeah. I got it. You do? You got an yeah. idea? You put two years on it, and it looks like Dumb and Dumber truck. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's cool about it. Uh, Every time I look at it, it makes me laugh. It's I like, it. so you're saying I have one chance? Wait, you have ears? <laughs> you know? Like, that's what Denise and Envy is telling me. Every Dude, day you day. need to go with that. You need the moped <laughs> yeah. they wrote to me. It would help your business. Yeah? <laughs> Dude, I didn't know you yeah, had an NV. Uh, uh, but they're awesome, but ugly. I can't. Hey. There's no. Well, hey, it's a work vehicle, so. Oh, my ugly. Now, I know it's, it's so cliche and, and so easy to pick on the Prius as a car guy. I mean, it's like the go-to car that we all make fun of. But it really is the ugliest fucking car in the world. I see them all. I mean, I drive all over. Look the place. at that thing. Are you sure it's not made out of origami? This is a particularly <laughs> ugly one. It doesn't get even folded into That's a million pieces. Stock Prius. Yeah. I can't defend that. I mean, it's. Yeah, why would you even attempt? It's they designed a car and then they said. Green. Yeah. I think they're perfect. Now, yeah. listen, Toyota knows how to make a good looking car. They said Lexuses yeah. are all good looking cars. The new Camry is a good looking car. I find myself checking out the new Camry yeah. all the time. What? Avalon is a good looking car. I was in a house where a new Camry Sport. It looked pretty good, actually. Yeah. They Toyota know definitely make, knows how to make a good looking car. No, no, they, are, they, have, who, they have potential to make a good looking car. Surely this is a new designer. Prove that. Because they're not going to make this a good looking car. This is 60, Why? Because it's 60 miles to the gallon. Just no, it still needs to be a good-looking car. It to is sell. the weirdest. To the people that buy car these ever. and like, like search after this shit, they don't give a shit. Yeah, like, look at that. No, I tell you what. Here's about, the thing. I know, think about the people that you know that just know nothing about cars. Yeah, like, nothing, they all like, want to drive. It, like, oh, it makes it boosts their right it boosts their self-confidence. They like they feel better about themselves. That's the what I'm saying. Like, they don't know about cars. They don't yeah. sure what it looks like. Um, hmm. But I'll tell you what. Like the last gen Prius and the Prius before that, when they first came out, I was like, that thing is fucking hideous. Did now, in, in three years, am I going to think that thing is still hideous? I don't know. Hopefully, Gear and Square Table will be around. We can tell you. In South America, they look huge. 
Really? They look small here. You see? Mm. Like, oh, what the fuck is that? Yeah, it's not a bad car. I've ridden right. in them. Yeah, they're not well, that brings up a good point because the modern Camrys are huge. They're like yeah. the size of a Crown Vic. They make yeah. that one that's pretty sick. The, what the X, X, XPS or whatever. There's like factory modded Camrys. We were next to that one in traffic the other day. It was yeah. bumping. It was yeah. like fucking rattling the van. We were like, it was just like, what is the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and, and it was a Camry XPS. The dealer tags on it. Yeah. yeah. The new Camry is a sexy car. And I, yeah. I really. And they probably have like 300 horsepower. That's what I'm saying. Like, they probably have 300 fucking horsepower. Yeah. I mean, I, it, no one has ever accused Toyota. Are you going to get a Camry next? I hope. I hope. Oh, Sebrings are coming up in a little bit. <laughs> Sebring. Uh, uh, what do we got next? Uh, All right, whose shitty fucking car is this? The BMW i3. Uh, it it's not. A, it's not pretty. I it's wish. Not the prettiest pretty? BMW. The I think grill. It's cool though. Cool. I mean, I'm not going for cool here. The that glass is cool. What car. is it? I hope. Is it all electric? I hope. Uh, I think that. Well, I mean, this car and like also Charles. the Prius. This is why I don't care about it. I mean, I'm just like. They're pushing the envelope of style to make them stand out. Well, well and you know I what? I'm going to toggle back. Look at the i8. It's, it's, it's that, These are, car, it, that car had sex. Yeah. And you have the i8. Dude. Yeah, you're right. And, but you know what? The that sexy. That's what an autonomous what car is yeah. going to look like. It's well, going to have sure. a higher roof line yeah. to make it easier to get in and out. Can you see the tires on this thing? they are. Yeah. It's going to have super low weird. profile tires to increase fuel efficiency. It's like yeah. it wants if they're to be electric. a hatchback, but it wants to be a crossover, but it doesn't know what the fuck's going on. It wants it's to be electric. A, it's a people it wants mover. It's 2050, but it's 2050 <laughs> still. So. 2050. I, I, yeah, I don't find them attractive, uh, but I, I, I think they're neat. But you drive one. I'm attracted to them. You drive one. Yeah. I'd drive one. I, I would. Like the iPhone X, I'd say so I would buy what I would buy. The iPhone X plug into that probably fucking get you to like. I think you know, Charlie would drive one. This? Yeah. yeah. I think I think Charlie would drive one. I would rather I would drive a 500 e. Give it to me. Fiat 500. You e drive first. one. Nah, man. If they're gonna give it to you, you, you gotta pay the taxes paper? on it. I'd say no thanks. <laughs> <laughs> That's a gift. You gotta pay taxes on that shit. Somebody gives you a car. It's a gift. All right, what do we got? All right, well, I transitioned. Well, we've gone to love hate. We're done with uh, done with ugliest cars. Now we're in love hate. What was your love own? hate? Uh, Amor, uh, you. Uh, NV, bro. Oh yeah, I, I hurt right. Gus's feelings. I'm sorry about that, Gus. No, it's so good. Salad for lunch and two torpedoes. Oh, torpedoes is, uh, salad I had for this lunch. I was having conversation today. I was, you know, we're talking about beers and like, you know, especially from around here, they come out and like, you know, it says whatever on here, but they could be lower, they could be higher because that's just the way it is. This is a what do you mean they could be lower, could be higher. <laughs> How? What kind of range are we talking here? Uh, that's trust me. I'll be higher. Oh, it's like it it's like miles per gallon. They're like, oh, one, you can get 18. Said, it doesn't matter what it is. Yeah. The one that sneaks up on me. Yeah, torpedoes, torpedoes, torpedoes will sneak up on you. Torpedo on you. All right. Shout out to the unnamed. Uh, Astral Brewery that doesn't sponsor this show but could. <laughs> Thanks for the beer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about it. Copyright uh, violation. Anyway, so Copyright my hate violation. is people that ride around in the when day. The sun is above the fucking horizon, horizon <laughs> with their damn light bars on. Like, you yeah. can't see already. Uh, like, yeah. what the fuck? It's we, idiotic. We know you've got a light bar, bro. I see it already. Now, it's the worst time for it is, is right it after Christmas because every 18-year-old kid gets one. Oh, uh, they ride around. All right, so, yeah. so the two that I stopped the kid one time. That, uh, really upsets me is because this is okay. Like, yeah, I just had full-size light bars. I had an F-250 come out while I mean, with a six-inch fucking light bar <laughs> blaring at me going down the interstate at, like, 8 o'clock in the morning. That's like, six inches? It's like a wo- maybe a woman's six inches. Yeah, well, yeah Charlie's like six well, inches. Well, I got two. <laughs> oh, my God, damn. It's probably small. It's probably the smallest light yeah, bar. Charlie, yeah. this yeah, guy's... What is it doing for you? Why is it on? <laughs> why, do you even, why do you even have just that on the front of your car? Yeah. Dude, you know it's wired constant 12. You know it's wired right to the battery. As soon as the fucking thing cuts on, the fucking little game... Oh, I shouldn't say that. Terrible little light bar. <laughs> Sorry. So, the next one was I saw a Subaru that had just straight, like, rack, you know, two yeah. Julie bars. But it had small light bars love, really on the ends of them, so it wasn't like, like in the two six inches. Yeah, so like the the the, what? The, the rack hung off the outside of the car. That's yeah, a bars out that's there. Where that's where light bars were. That'll yeah. knock but you out, man. On, you ever hit your head on like, a super like, rack? Like one in the afternoon. I'm like, what's this guy doing? Yeah. Like we see you, we get it with your. I stopped a kid one time. I he was I, I think he was at is a taco and. He was behind me and his light bar was on. It was the middle of the day. It was lunchtime. <laughs> so he gets up next to me and, I, and I'm like, and I, I roll down my window and I beep at him. And he's like, hey. I'm like, your light bar is on. You know, he's like, oh, it is? I said, turn your light bar off, dude. Like, you're going you're gonna to attract all this attention. You're going to piss people off. 
And they're gonna start calling saying this live bar, live bar. Next thing you know, they're gonna be fucking banned. We we'll got to run covers. You're ruining it for us, just like coal yeah. smoke, coal rollers. Yeah. You know, like you, stop it. It's dumb. Yeah, no, you're not impressing anyone. You're not impressing well, a single and because, person. and because as an automotive community, we've had to dial back our pissing off non-automotive people. Yeah, you gotta there's there's a to fine preserve line. access. Yeah. You have to understand, like rolling coal. Like, all right, it's kind of cool. Like you know, you have a nice diesel truck rolls, but come on, man. Don't do it in traffic. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah don't do it. You, like, don't out, like, do it when you pass train. somebody on a bicycle. Like, yeah. what the fuck yeah, is wrong dick. with you? That's, you're an asshole. You're an asswipe. And that's yeah. what I'm saying. When you're coming down, when you're barreling down the road on someone. With a light bar. It's kind of funny. Especially, you know, on the interstate. If someone has a little bit of. <laughs> they're funny. A little, 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 little light bar. Don't, don't be a hater. I, no, I, 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 you roll coal on that thing, Gus? Because if he's rolling coal on that, you got problems. That's what he's going to call me and be like, Chris. Roll we got a problem. Yeah. I got a head I need, gasket. Yeah. I need rings, <laughs> man. I need all that guy in Michigan. I lost steam. <laughs> I wiped you out. I wiped you out. That's a very expensive. All right. Uh, well, just two other things just to point out. One, well, three. This is a fifth gen forerunner. The most easy of, to pick on of all forerunners. They're, with, I think they're taking the rain from JK. With Texas tags yeah. and a TRD sticker on the roof rack. So oh, yeah, it's just. TRD. Yeah. Uh, oh, so this is my love. Ah, uh, I love some pop-up headlights. I, I love that NSX. We all do. I really love the NSX too. The NSX yeah, yeah, nice. yeah. Um, I thought it was gonna talk about the garage doors. <laughs> Those saying, are, is that, that a, look, it's got that little arch they, right they, they, They're 9 by 8 race panel, they look pretty good to me. That's a <laughs> Still insulated. <laughs> is this a plug? Are you, sponsor? Are you the first sponsor yeah. of Garrett's Grand Day was? Is this a plug? Just throw it out. <laughs> Um, so go ahead. I, uh, I think the coolest thing about Papa headlights is we we're used to seeing these cars without the headlights up. So when you do, it's right. like it's like a different car. Exactly. It is. Exactly. Well, and Gus and brought up a good point before the show too. Yeah. Sleepy eyes. Oh my you God. Pop the headlights up they just a little bit. Just a little bit. Because I, well, I think you have to do it manually though. Don't you got, you? You got to like crank the little thing. And then you can wow. top it. Yeah. Oh, that's it like looks. an aftermarket deal thing. Well, I want to say it's yeah, aftermarket. It's just like jump shit. NSX has aged great. Right. Miata 240. That's typically where you see them. I mean, it's hard to beat in early. I know. When I was well, a kid, I hated them because I didn't think they were that fast, and I thought they were t terrible. But I think can, now I really just as well. Yeah, I mean, cool can you name anything like that. that wasn't from the early '90s that has pop-up headlights? Uh, uh, do I know? What was that the Trans Ams kept them for a long time. Yeah. Trans Ams keep them into like the fourth gen. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, not fifth gen, not C5. 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 No, C4. Sorry. C4. No, C5 yeah. had them too. C5. No, C5 no, didn't yeah, have them. 97 no. to 04. Yes, they did. Yes, no. That's yes, they I'm did. I'm pretty sure they did. Yeah, okay. All right, I, next. I, I'm positive they did. It's my favorite C5 car. did. So C5 did. C5 did? 97 to 04, it did. And then they stopped. Yeah, now that he's saying 100%. that, I think maybe he's right. Yeah. I'm 100% I think maybe he's right, right. because the C6 I had just, that. The C6 wrap -wrap. topic had it in three years. I think he's right. I think he's right. I think he's right. Whoa. Oh my God. Speak of the devil. <laughs> Speak of the, the devil. That's, there you go. That's the C6, and that's, that's my hate. Now, this looks Photoshop, Gus. I, I don't think is. so. I think that's like it some. It could be because th there's no vent with a solid axle. What is this? They're like, yeah, they're what's like, the actual they're like 30 yeah, with side oh. pipes. Look at these side that pipes. That is no Photoshop. That's yeah, that's fucking Photoshop, you guys. guys. Nobody that's drove that. that. You're hating on the dunk, on man. Don't hate on the dunk. <laughs> Look at the rubber band <laughs> tires. <laughs> You're hating on the dunk. That's why it's here. Look at it. That's a Z06, too. I don't know how you get in it, how you get out of it. I, I tell mean, you what, you're gonna man. burn yourself on those side pipes. Yeah, yeah you out are. Of it. I mean, you that's throw a giant you, donk. Like, I, I kind of appreciate a donk. What? Yeah, of course. I, in are. a weird way, I do. Yeah. Hmm. How do you yeah. climb up on that? I want to see you do that. How do you I appreciate I mean, it? This big shit we built. I appreciate a tasteful donk. I mean, what are we rolling on? We were rolling on 44 inch rims <laughs> on a one inch fucking tire. Yeah. I mean, seriously. That's. I think it's Photoshop. That's definitely Photoshop. Yeah. Look at the left front wheel, dude. Yeah, it's got a. It's right there. Well, it's on leaf springs. Is that? I can't. See I don't it. know. It's Photoshop, so I can't tell. Anyway, it's terrible. It should get off of this. It's definitely terrible. So up next we have a beautiful white body, same car, rear camber, sitting down. Is that white body? That's factory. That is white body actually. Six fender. Yeah, no. yeah those are. No yeah, they're white body. That's white body. And they so just look bad. so Man, badass. So Fucking beautiful. Mm. I, I like, like white body anything pretty much. I like, I think my, C6 I mean, just beds white are my favorite. In general. Dude, were, I was about to say, it's, it, for the money, for like going out and buying a, a, Today. a fucking car, yeah. for yeah. the money, yeah. it's hard to beat what, what are you going to C6 Z06 for these days? No kidding. That's, I mean, that's or a super I, I, car. A nice one you can get 
I, I'd say no kidding, low 20s. I'm going to say, uh, 20. Uh, CO6. Yeah. CO6. Low 20, C6, yeah. CO6? Wow. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, see, I know, I know CO6. On X, we got some, we got, I got some vets coming. CO6 might be getting more, but. I'm going there new. You can still get them for 60. Oh, yeah, performance-wise, yeah. It's like new. the JK is to the off-road world. I mean, you can't beat them yeah. that time. No. Except we'll, we'll, we, got, we got vet topics to come up later in the All right. That that gorgeous, in gorgeous love. Shows. Oh, wait, wait, go back a little bit. And, and I just realized that he has the Nito Invo tires, which are freaking sexy as hell. I, I run those tires that are sticky, they're gorgeous, and the thread is beautiful. So thank you, man. Shout out to Nito. Plug, yeah. Shout out to Nito. And thanks right for there. sponsoring Hi. Gus's tires. I'm not sure how that worked out. <laughs> Ollie, hook it thanks up. for that. All right, this is my hate. That looks aggressive. And it's Ooh, this is a Chrysler. Is pounce. This is a Chrysler Sebring with uh, some sort of aftermarket headlight on it. Shitty cars with aftermarket headlights are the worst. Yeah, they are. Because a lot of them are too blue. In a lot of states, it's illegal Dude, to have blue. Dude, they're super blue. Yeah, they're not. They're never man. adjusted properly. No. They fucking jiggle going down the road. Yeah. Drives yeah. me fucking insane. Yeah, you think someone's flashing your headlights? Like, is there a cop up here? No, yeah. it's a Honda. No, I just see a fucking speed bump or a pothole. That's another thing, dude. We're always looking for. I'm always looking for cops. Always. <laughs> always? Every time I drive, yes. I'm always looking for cops. I'm not looking at anything you else. Mean, you should yeah. probably do less things wrong. I, I do not drive always. Looking I do for things cops. wrong usually just by driving. Yeah, I get in the car on my shit. Here we go. <laughs> 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 I gotta, I gotta oh, drive I'm again. Good. Yeah, 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 knock, yeah, on uh, knock on wood. Knock on wood. I that? hate aftermarket headlights on uh, all shitty cars. Remember the one I sent you that was a triumph? This is my love. Dude, that is sick. This is my love. That's a, Truck that, that conversions. Was, that was done right. So you can do them on Mercedes, 240s. Geo Metros. Uh, Geo Metros. Uh. I mean, there's, there's kits out there for Volkswagens. You can drive a TDI. <laughs> Truck conversion, and they're yeah. so fucking cool. Yeah. One, you can haul a sheet of plywood. Two, look how fucking cool it is. That is cool. Dude, there so fucking cool. That That's got a, like an amino. There's a company, amino. so so this, no, it it's a W123. So there's a company in Wisconsin that did a bunch of these Mercedes ones, which I think probably did your buddies. Well, um, yeah, but anyway. Yeah. Did a bunch of these Mercedes ones in the whenever. Yeah, look how sick that is. God. That's cool. And yeah, I mean, look at, and this one is so well done because the, I mean, uh, the higher quality pictures, the body line, flowed seamlessly. Yeah, I mean, it was yeah. just a gorgeous, gorgeous I truck. I my love. I'm sorry. I'm yeah, scrolling all around. Uh, all right. My text. love. But, uh, Pull it up. Uh, uh, anything body. RWB. Oh, look at that thing. It's so aggressive. A lot of, uh, I think a lot of Porsche purists don't like these cars. The they don't like it because these self tappers holding the fenders on. They're so sick. Dude, they're wrong. <laughs> everything the about it. Everything Dude, about what it. What is the offset the on those song. rear wheels? God. It's insane. It's, it's just so That's aggressive like, yeah. and sexy. Mm. And just, oh, I love yeah. it. I love them. That has like freaking. I went to SEMA a couple of years and there were, I, I forgot what booth it was. One of the tire manufacturers' booth had like eight. RWBs in their booth. That's all it was. What is this like, pod this here? Is the thing ever. Yeah, that's probably the, the mirror. mirror. The mirror that, oh, fender mirror. Hell yeah. Of course, that's really silly of me. Fender mirror, <laughs> wide body, uh, deep dish wheels. Dude, that checks, all in here. checks all Airport. Gus's boxes. Check, yeah. Check. Oh, low. Gus is done. Man. Out the door. Yeah. What's that? <laughs> bottle, bottle sheep? Trade bottle for an M5? Yeah. Perfect yeah. color. The wheels are perfect. Everything about this car is cool. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Um, There's no complaints here yeah. at all. Yeah. The Thank color you. on those wheels. I mean, that's just fucking that's, beautiful. That yeah. bronze with the gray. You wouldn't oh, think man. that would go with it, but it works. It works. Mm. When you get this aggressive and this this badass, I mean. You can do whatever you yeah, want. You can do whatever you, you want. You can do whatever you want. Like, oh purple wheels will look good. Yeah, look at those purple wheels. Like a dark purple. <laughs> <laughs> is is yeah, that yeah, a nine yeah. inch leap on the rear? Yeah, I like them. Yeah, don't worry about it, man. You know? Yeah, yeah, I like them. Sick. Yeah. Totally sick. In love. Uh, I think that's. Um, I hate. <laughs> I think I found the ultimate bro jeep. This thing is, is so fucking terrible. It's so hideous. Why is it parked in like a trash lot <laughs> for this Instagram? <laughs> That's the only place Look in at time. this. It's a, like a royal like, purple because it goes through. Box. This is all poison is like ivy oil, and oil or, or a crown royal box. That thing is every. It checks every box of hideous no, bullshit. No, it only has one trend. steering stabilizer. It does not have multiple steering stabilizers. Look at that thing. Look how. Look at the front the tow hooks. I can't even talk right now. Uh, I can't even look at it. This is terrible. <laughs> look, at the, look at the door handles. Uh, okay, it only has one light bar on the front end, but it has two little pods yes, on the A pillar to make yeah. up for it. Oh yeah, 
Yeah, because and the cowl it's, hood. It's got angry dude, halo eyes. Dude, around the wall at night is fucking rough, bro. Yeah, bro, you, you need. Never know, you gotta light it up. You gotta have a cowl intake to get all the air into that 3.8 that you can. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you know this thing's a 2008. He's like a grasshopper and a chameleon. What? Like a grasshopper and a chameleon together. Yeah, that's what it looks like. It's got angry halo eyes. Yeah. It's got checked out both. These guys like, oh. Oh, angry. It's no. That someone did this. Dude. And it's got eyebrows. I was about to say his angry eyes weren't angry enough. He had to add angry eyebrows. Yeah, whoever built this, I'm sorry, but you are terrible. Stretched <laughs> wheels. Stretch 24s. I don't understand the stretch wheels when you go that. Like, I don't yeah, get it. It's way bigger than 24s. It's Why are you stretching yeah, the are. wheels? It's uh, like 28 to 30. Color, color matched to steering yeah. accessories. Uh, yeah, just because you, th- if you like think you're a truck way, builder a and you're like, oh, this, shit. You don't, it doesn't. Well, here's the deal. Guys that build trucks sometimes think that they're cool because if they just take everything apart and powder, mat, color match it, that's not cool. Or not even color you know, match it, but like accent color. Yeah. Day, yeah. Like, Someone loves this thing. That doesn't make it cool or a custom. Yeah. So what it's is terrible. And that's the way it is. But hey, at least his at least his winch cable's tight. That's all I got to say about that. Oh my god. All right. <laughs> All right, we're done. Uh, and I mean, I, and, I, and I take it. If it's free, I'll take it. No, you won't. No, I you got to pay no. taxes on it. If oh, somebody shit. tried to give me that Jeep, I would Forever. say no. I don't give a shit what it's worth. I would worth. say yes, claim insurance, full coverage, drive it off the road. <laughs> I plastic dip the whole fucking thing. You can't good. say that on camera, no. bro. Burn no. it. Somebody. I would not accept <laughs> it. I, on, on the life of my children, if somebody tried to give me that thing, I would not accept <laughs> it. Just to, make, to see spite. their face when I say, no, I don't want that. Uh-uh. Get rid of it. Not out of spite, out of common sense. Yeah. <laughs> it's terrible. It, I wouldn't you know want my name ever attached to well. a vehicle like that. All right, oh, episode dude. four. Thank you very much for watching. We Thanks appreciate everybody. the support. Please comment and tell us what you think. We went a little long this time, but fuck it. No, who cares? Um, episode five. I'll keep everyone pu- up, updated on Facebook. We might be delayed a little bit. We got, you know, like I said earlier, we got some shit coming up. So. Thanks for watching. But I heard episode five is gonna be badass, bro. It it's is. I got. I'm, I'm working on. I some saw it already. I saw the. Uh-huh. the I'm working on some cool cut. cars that might come, and we'll have some, always have always have cool topics. So awesome. thanks for watching. Prone, check us out. Cheers. Yes. Chin chin. See you in a couple weeks. See you later. <laughs>